All right, y'all. Well, it's Lisa Vasquez, and I'm excited to be back here to be showing you some Serato Studio Stees. So um, shout out to my people over at Serato OP, who I've known for several years, and Cut Corners and Sunny James. Um, yeah, thank y'all for everything. And yeah, the software, I must say, I, um, I really, really like it. And I'm going to get into exactly why in a moment here. As most of you know, um, that have been following my channel, I typically use um, the MPC or some piece of analog gear like the S2400 and, you know, instruments, records, things of that nature. Not usually um, using a lot of computer software unless I'm editing my final tracks. This software, I is outside of the box of what I normally do but again I'm I really really like it so let's dive right into it <laughs> first of all it's a different kind of layout than um like with Ableton or some other um you know recording software um if you're familiar with Serato like Serato DJ software this will be very familiar for you it's really great for making remixes but also yeah as I said just like for for making any kind of production, beginning, advanced, um, it's great. One of my favorite features uh, just right off the bat is the the time stretching is phenomenal. It's kind of above anything that I've ever used before. And you know, you don't really get any any fragmenting, anything like that, whatever, whatever algorithm magic juju they got from, <laughs> you know, that they're using of this is just above and beyond. So, okay, I have a, drum pack that I, I built myself that I put on here, but there's tons of Serato packs that you can use, full kits, one shots, all all that jazz. So, you know, you go in here and just have a field day listening to different sounds and build your own thing here. Sky's the limit. So, I put together something out of the Ski Beats Smack Packs. Shout out to Ski Beats. If you all don't, aren't familiar, definitely get familiar. But uh, noted that I'm not using any outboard gear for this. I'm just using my laptop. So I'm just using the keys um, on my laptop here. So with the updated version of Serato Studio, you get 16 chops versus eight that you used to get before this update. This is the kit that I built. <laughs> And next step, um, you could, you know, obviously just go in and record manually. But um, for this, I'm going to use one of the features that I actually really like, which is it, uh, a pattern generator. So you can go into the genre and, and start there and then just press the button. So I have hip hop and rap as the genre that I, I picked. Press the button there. Boom. There's a pattern. Okay. <laughs> um, there's a swing dial that if you want to add a little, little swing, if you don't like some of the hits, you know, Hey, let's just take a couple of them out of here. Yeah. Don't want that one. Let's go. Um, I really like this cause then it kind of gets you outside of what your your regular pa patterning workflow would be and that can be nice for like getting you out of just you know creative slumps well actually i'm gonna i'm gonna pull up a different random beat here okay so on these hi-hat hits i'm gonna change the velocity to give it a little bit more variation here so i just go in oops i press shift first to select the hits that I want to adjust the velocity on. So they're turning purple here. You can see a scooch on to the next third and fourth bar here. Boom, boom, boom. Oops. There. So you can hear that there. It's, it's definitely got a little bit more movement to it, which is great. So yeah, that's one way to get you started on a beat. For, for your drums, um, I have a, a drum pattern that I made previously and then I messed around with some same, same technique. With this one, I did add um, a little bit of echo effect and um, to give it kind of an, another, another layer here. So I'll show you. So 
So that's with the echo on. I'll take the echo off. Almost kind of like it cleaner, but um, when I originally added the echo on there, it, I just felt like it gave it a little bit more movement, a little more bounce. So I'm going to leave it on for these purposes. The next part is I got my melody. <laughs> so the way I look at it is... You know, the drums are like the skeleton of a beat. This like the foundation. But the melody is like the soul, like the heart. It's like what gives you that f emotion in it. It's like you can't, we can't really have one without the other. But um, yeah, it's, for me, I'm all about melody. I usually start with melody. This is a little different than I normally would start out a beat. But again, you know, it's uh, changing up my workflow is, is good. It's, it kind of can get you some innovative new ideas and everything. So, all right. So I've got this um, sample that I got from Tracklib, which shout out Tracklib, um, huge fan of, of their platform. You can license old and new music that they have up there for as little as $50 per track. So each, um, track on there you know has a ra has a range of prices but a lot of them in fact most of them that I've seen that I've um that I've worked with have been th in the $50 range so this is one of those okay so I click audio samples I have these in a crate that I built um, when you're adding a sample go to add samples in this window here click on that and that opens up a new fresh window where my face is showing right now this is the sample so this is the track loop track that I'm working with. Um, it's a really, uh, you know, ethereal sounding. All right, so I've got talking. I'm, I'm being close talker right now. I don't want to do that. <laughs> All right, so I've got my sample loaded up in this deck. This is what they're called. They call them decks on here. So left, your left deck and then your right deck. Um, and so there's this cool thing called find samples where you just press this button and it'll chop up whatever audio you have in there just kind of randomly. I mean, there's, it'll, it'll follow transients and find something that's, you know, there's a, there's a rhyme and a reason for it. But, um, but yeah, so that's a quick way to be able to find samples. Again, you could do, do it manually, but these are, um, these tools are nice to, to be able to get just a quick idea out and to also just like get outside of your, um, your normal thinking and workflow. All right, I'm gonna play the drums while I mess around with the... Um... lay down a little pattern here and press record. Okay, I'm gonna do that again. I think I... higher pitch ones but I think for this one I'm gonna keep it keep them all kind of in the lower range Oops. record <laughs> okay here we go uh, come on now quick little melody there um I also have a couple other melodic chops that I have recorded in here um you know, the same sample. so I, I don't know if I already said this but yeah when you dump the sample in here matches your key and your bpm so fantastic you know really you could take that feature off if you want to I don't know why you'd really want to but you know definitely there's there's a time and place for that um, but yeah, so it's, um, 
yeah, it's really uh, makes things quite easy. So. <laughs> the beginning the, the little the seed <laughs> of this track here all right so another thing i want to do add some bass why, why would i not add some bass so um all right so another great feature so you add an instrument go to you know add instruments right right next to where i had add sample before and then you go to instruments Right now, I am working with this bass sample. Ah, okay, so there's several ones on here to choose from. Um, you can use, you know, your own virtual instruments, um, third-party plugins. So, yeah, for this, I used uh, the Rumble Bass. So that's what's loaded up here right now. I have the play and key on, which... Is just like it sounds like it is you will um, be matched in key with any of the keys that you hit so all right so got a little something figured out um, and I'm gonna record record something in all right so there's there's one bass pattern last but not least i've got a lead synth instrument on here same thing play and key It's a really fun one. So I like to have, you know, just a little variation in, in frequencies here. This will take care of that, that high end. So far, um, next thing, uh, it wouldn't really be proper without me adding an acapella. So I've got this Notorious B.I.G. Um, this Notorious B.I.G. sample uh, uploaded, again, matched BPM and key. Takes all the guesswork out of having to line it up. Press the find samples. I did that a couple times. Used to, used to get feels on them. Now I throw shields on Twinkie filling, playing the villain, villain. Twinkie filling, playing the villain, villain. Boom. Okay, so I'm going to play along to this. What are going on? Used to get feels on Used to get feels on them. Now I throw shields on the Twinkie filling, playing the villain, villain. Twinkie filling, playing the villain, villain. Villain. Okay. Used to. All right, so I'm gonna record that, and and we have a beat. Boom! So here we go. Used to get feels on, used to get feels on, but now I throw shields on the Twinkie villain, playing the villain, villain, Twinkie villain, playing the villain, prepare for this rap killer. Used to get feels on, used to get feels on, but now I throw shields on the Twinkie villain, playing the villain, villain, Twinkie villain, playing the villain, prepare for this rap killer. All right. <laughs> so there it is um 
there's a song mode that that you can go into to kind of arrange all the bits and pieces you have like i said i have a couple different um chops of the of the um which i'm gonna call it so i'll mute the uh acapella for a second so play a different different one of the chops <laughs> bass doesn't really go too great with that part I'd replay that but this could be like you know the intro have it so that's my rundown of serato studio i love it you know really as soon as i got past you know just kind of my frustration of i'm so used to the hotkeys that i use with ableton and you know just really watching a couple tutorials just to just to understand the way that it's set up it's very easy to use um, again the pitch and time stretching is out of this world Highly recommend that. Even if you don't use the Serato Studio, you know, you can use a uh, Serato sample inside any DAW uh, pitch and time as well. So it's really um, a super uh, useful tool. And, you know, for anyone that's not as familiar with the Serato DJ software, such as myself, this is something that I would just highly recommend. You know, it really can get, you, you can get quick ideas across for remixes, this is, I mean, I, I can't see myself using anything else really for, for doing remixes. Um, and it's capable of doing anything else that you would do in any, any other DAW. You know, you could record just straight up audio from, you know, any of this gear that I have, go directly in, you know, record vocals. Right, so I'm Lisa Vasquez and I really appreciate y'all for watching and stay tuned for some more Flip It Fridays coming out, hopefully in the near future. I've been mad busy. I'm going uh, to teach in Ecuador for three weeks, actually two, two weeks, then I'm going to Colombia. But yeah, anyway, um, much love and thank you Serato for everything. Y'all check it out, serato.com, download everything. You won't regret it. All right, peace y'all. Playing the villain, villain, a pointy villain, playing the villain, a pair for the strap killer.